Adonai. We worship you, we worship you, Son of God. You are so good, Almighty God. Allo be thy name. Your dominion is forevermore. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. To see you. I live at all, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, 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 as we sing holy 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 i want to see you mighty and everlasting father holy god the righteous and the king of kings the lord of lords our lord our creator our maker our light and our savior Father, tonight we bow at your feet, we join the 24 elders in heaven, Lord, to worship your holy name. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we know we have sinned against you and we cry to your throne for mercy tonight. Lord, forgive us all our sins and create in us a new spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name, O Lord, for the covenant of life. We appreciate you, Lord, for supplying our needs. We appreciate you, Lord, for not allowing the enemies, O God, to write the last chapter of our lives. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, lay your hand of fire upon us. And Lord, disgrace every and writing of the wicked in our lives in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover this platform with the blood of Jesus. And with the fire of glory goes in jesus most wonderful and blessed name we have prayed father lord i surrender myself before you whatever is in me that will make me not to speak heresy father lord purge me oh lord remove me and use me as a vessel as your oracle and as your mouthpiece to speak the word of life into the lives of your children do not let me speak of myself but let the holy spirit of god speak through me in the name of jesus use the word tonight that you're going to speak through me let the world, O oh God, depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate your own kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, O oh Lord God, my Father, O oh Lord God, my Father, help me. I need you. O oh Lord God, my Father, help me, Lord. I need your help. I need your help, Father. Help me, Lord. 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 My life, oh God, my father, help me. Oh Lord God, my father, help me, oh Lord. Help me. I need you in my life. I need you, oh Lord. I need you in my home. I need you, in my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, my father, deliver my family from ancestral bondage. Today is the day to pray for the family. Today is Tuesday. You must open your mouth and pray. Say, Oh Lord God, my father. Deliver my family from ancestral captivity and bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, my Father, deliver my family from ancestral captivity and bondage in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, deliver my family, deliver me and my family from ancestral captivity and bondage in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, Power of God, destroy every strange power that are ruling my family in the name of Jesus. Power of God. Disgrace and destroy all the evil powers that are tormenting my family. Oh God, destroy them. Oh Lord, destroy them in the name of Jesus. All the evil powers that are troubling my family. Oh Lord, destroy them in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, wicked powers. 
saying no to the progress of my family. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Wicked power, saying no to the progress of my family. Wicked power, saying no to the testimonies of my family. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, they are there. Say, altar of God. Swallow up all ancestral altars in my family, altars of the living God. Swallow up all the evil altars in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, altar of God. Swallow up all the evil altars in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, altar of God. Swallow up all the evil altars in my family. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you once again because of who you are. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Mighty God, I surrender myself before you. Whatever the enemies are planning against me or whatever the enemies have already done, Father Lord, disappoint them right now in the name of Jesus. Turn my life to fire and let the voice of my mouth, O oh God, become the voice of the Holy Ghost that will come out with fire and power. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another time in His presence. And to the glory of God, the Lord has given us the grace to look at what is titled Connecting with the Power of the Word of God. Connecting with the power in the Word of God. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, the Bible says in Hebrews 4, 12, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow, and is a designer of the thought and the intent of the heart. There is power in the word of God. The question I'm asking or we should be asking ourselves is this. Why are Christians not tapping into the power in the word of God? Why are we quoting the scripture and we are not experiencing the move of the power? Why are we just reading the Bible? And we are not getting the awesomeness of the power of God. Why are we reading the Bible every day? And we are not getting the fullness of the manifestation of God's power. The answer is this. It is because we are yet to understand how to tap into the power of God. There are things that we need to do for us to connect with the power in the word of God. The first thing that you must do, you must live a holy life. Without holiness, the word of God cannot work for your life. Number two, you must believe in God. After holiness, you must believe in God. Believe in the man that holds the world, that he is not a man that should lie. Whatever he says, he will do it. And number three, you must confess the word. Confess it. Remind God about the word. I pray in the name of Jesus that you and your family shall benefit from the power in the word of God. Whatever you decree from tonight, heaven will over answer you in the name of Jesus. Bible says, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. I decree upon your life that your problems shall suffer loss in the name of Jesus. Every boasting powers in your life, by the authority in the word of God, they shall somersault and die. They shall somersault and die. As Goliath lost his life before David, so shall all your enemies enemies lose their lives before you in jesus name it is done there is power in the word of god in first samuel chapter 17 let's see how david used the power in the word of god first samuel 17 from verse 40 to 51 the bible says and he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a spear bag in the shepherd's bag, and the which he had, even in a crib, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a young and ruddy, and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staff? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, 
and to the beast of the field. Then said David to the Philistines, Mark from verse 45. Then said David to the Philistines, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day the Lord will deliver thee into my hands, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, and all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. David trusted in the name of the Lord. David confessed the Lord before Goliath. David was very bold and courageous. David stood upon the word of God. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord saved not with sword nor spear, for the battle is of the Lord. David believed that only God can give victory. The battle is of the Lord. And he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hastened and ran towards the armies to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took hence a stone and sling it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the shear. Therefore and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. I pray in the name of Jesus that the word of God you are about to hear tonight shall destroy all your boasting Goliath in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and cry like this. Say, ancestral Goliath of my father's house in the name of Jesus, I destroy you in Jesus' name. Ancestral Goliath in my father's house. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy you. Every ancestral Goliath of my father's house. Ancestral Goliath of my mother's house. Ancestral Goliath of my healer's house. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. 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 In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. In Psalm 138, verse 2. Psalm 138, verse 2. The Bible says, I will worship towards the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. God hath magnified his word above his name. That means every word that the Lord has spoken to you and I, they carry authority and power. Then why are we not tapping into the authority and power of God? Because of our unbelief. I want you to pray. Every spirit of unbelief in my life, Come out and die. Every spirit of unbelief in my life. Come out and die. 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 In Jesus' name, it is done. The reason why we are not tapping into the power of the word of God is fear. We are always afraid of the enemies. We are always afraid of situations. We are always afraid of evil report. I want you to pray. The fear that would destroy the power of God in my life. Get out of my life in the name of Jesus. You spirit of fear that would destroy the power of God in my life. Out of 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 my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. The reason, another reason why we are not connecting with the power of the word of God is laziness. Many of us, we are too lazy to study the Bible. We are too lazy to feed on the word of God. We feed on physical food, but we neglect the spiritual. I want you to pray again that thou arrow of laziness 
in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. Jump out and die. Arrow of laziness in my body. Jump out, die. 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 In Jesus' name, it is done. Another reason why we are not connecting with the power of God is wrong messages. When your life is being fed with messages that are not godly, it makes your eye to lose out on the power in the word of God. You are going to pray like this. Say, oh God, my father, purge my life of wrong messages in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, purge my life of wrong messages. Purge my life. Purge my family. Purge my home of wrong messages. Purge my life, oh Lord. Purge my family. Purge my home from wrong messages. In Jesus' name, we have prayed in Isaiah 55. Verse 8 to 11. The Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but what watereth the earth, and make it eat for and board, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word that goeth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accompany that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things where though I sent it. The word of God cannot fail. The word of God can never return back to God void. I want you to pray. Say, every word spoken into my life by God shall bring forth testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Every word spoken into my life by God shall bring forth testimonies. Shall bring forth testimonies. Oh God, my Father, let your word bring testimonies in my life. Let your word, oh God, bring forth testimonies in my life. Let your word bring revival in my life. Let your word bring deliverance upon my life. Let your word bring restoration upon my life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When your life is connected to the word of God, certain things are bound to happen. Number one, there will be victory over challenges and problems. The word of God will give you victory over challenges and problems. Number two, the word of God will set the captives free. Number three, the word of God will deliver sinners. It will open prison doors. The word of God will roll away every ungodly stone's barrier delay before you to roll them away. The word of God will divide your Jordan and your Red Sea. The word of God will restore your wasted years. The word of God will end tragedy, calamity, accident before your life. The word of God will eliminate human errors from your life. The word of God will expose, disgrace and destroy all your enemies. Beloved, tonight is the night to use the word of God to pray. Believe God. God can never fail. In Psalm 1, from verse 1 to 3, I want you to believe God tonight. I want you to hold God by his word. Even though the heaven and the heart will be, the Bible says, none of his word will go back to him void. That means whatever the Lord says concerning his word, if you believe it, if you hold God by his word, it shall surely come to pass. We believe the word of the doctors. We believe the word of men. We believe the word of our parents. But what about the word of the one who created it? I want you to start telling yourself from tonight that which word are you going to be basing your life? Is it the word of the government? Is it the word spoken by your parents? Is it the word spoken by your friends? Is it the word spoken by your colleagues? Or is it the word spoken by God? It is the only word that can ever fail. Your friends can fail you, your parents will fail you, your environment can fail you. But God's word is eternal and forever it is settled. In heaven and on earth, anywhere the word of God is being spoken, it is the final. When the doctors are saying you will die, and the Bible says thou shalt not die, that you will not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord. You have to hold God by his word. Say, God, you have promised me I shall not die. Hold God by his word, not in fear, but in faith. Hold God by his word in obedience, not in disobedience. Hold God by his word in love, not in hatred. 
Believe God. And you will see the manifestation of his word. In Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, Blessed is the man. I want you to stop personalizing it. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but is the lie, is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does it meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree. You and I, the Bible says, because we walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Condition for getting the benefit of the word of God is number one, not walking in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the way of sinners, and not sitting in the seat of the scornful. If you walk in the counsel of the ungodly, if you stand in the way of sinners, and if you sit among the scornful, you can be quoting the scriptures, but the scriptures will not work because you have contravened the condition. That's why tonight is the night to pray with the word of God. Say, by the word of God, by the word of God, by the word of God, I am free from the counsel of the ungodly. By the word of God, I am free from the counsel of the ungodly. My soul is free from the counsel of the ungodly. My family, we are free from the counsel of the ungodly. By the word of God, I am set free from the counsel of the ungodly. I am set free from the counsel of the ungodly. In Jesus' name, we are free. Say, by the word of God, I overcome my fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the word of God, I overcome my fear. I overcome fear in my life. I overcome fear in my marriage, in my ministry in everything I do I overcome fear I overcome fear in Jesus name we are present by the word of God weapons of the enemies will not prosper against me in the mighty name of Jesus by the authority in the word of God weapons of the enemies shall not prosper against me will not prosper against my family will not prosper against my own by the authority in the word of God weapons of witchcraft will not prosper against me will not prosper against my home will not prosper against my ministry in Jesus name we are praying by the power in the word of God I recover my wasted years in the mighty name of Jesus by the authority and power in the word of God. I recover my wasted years by the authority and power. By the power and the authority in the word of God. I recover my wasted years. I recover my wasted years. I recover my wasted years. In Jesus' name, we are praised by the power in the word of God. I shall be fruitful in life in the mighty name of Jesus by the authority and power in the word of God. I shall be fruitful in life. I shall multiply. I shall be fruitful. I shall multiply. I shall be fruitful. I shall multiply. In Jesus' name, we are praised by the power in the word of God. I shall not die but live to declare the goodness of God by the power in the word of God. I and my family shall not die. I shall not die. My glory will not die. My destiny will not die. My business will not die. My ministry will not die. My dreams will not die. But we shall live to declare the goodness of God. We shall live. I shall live. My children will live. My family will live. Every source on this platform, we shall not die. But we shall live. To declare the goodness of God. We shall live. We shall live. We shall live. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Say, by the power and authority in the word of God. Whosoever we gather together against me for evil shall fall. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power and the authority in the word of God, whosoever will gather together against me for evil shall fall, shall fall. For my sake, they shall fall. For my sake, they shall fall. My enemies will fall. My adversaries shall fall. In the name of Jesus, also wickedness will fall. Spiritual wickedness will fall. Witches and wizards will fall. Necromancers will fall. Star gazers will fall. Star hunters will fall. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, 
we are praying, say, by the authority and power in the word of God. Oh God, arise, open my eyes in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power and the authority in the word of God. Oh God, my Father, arise, open my eyes, 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 open my eyes. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You are going to pray against the spirit of delay. Any power that has been delaying the manifestation of your miracle must die. Say, powers of my father's house delaying the manifestation of my glory. Powers in my mother's house delaying the manifestation of my glory. Powers in my healer's house delaying the manifestation of my glory. Your time is up. Da, 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 da. Open your mouth and pray. Powers. In my father's house, powers in my mother's house, powers in my in-laws house, delay the manifestation of my glory. Your time is up. Da, 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 da. In Jesus' name, they are there. Say arrows of delay. Arrows of delay fired into my life. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of delay fired into my life. Backfire, 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 backfire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say arrows of pains in my body. Arrows of pains fired into my life in the dream. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. Arrows of pains. Arrows of pains in my body. Arrows of pains fired into my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to sender. 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 You arrows of pains. I reject you in my life. I reject you in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Say arrows of pains. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you. In Jesus name we are praying. Great and mighty father. We appreciate you Lord because you are God. You are not a man. By the authority and power in your unchanging word, we decree and we declare that every evil deposit in our lives, the Bible says the hand is at the shoot. Every tree that my father has not shall be rooted out. Father, let your hand of fire uproot every witchcraft deposit in our lives in the name of Jesus. By your hand of fire, uproot every wicked deposit of pain in any areas of our life. Let them be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic deposit in our brain, in our blood, in our liver, in every organs of our bodies be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Lord, lay your hand of fire upon us. Lay your hand of healing upon us. The Bible says, He that the Son of God shall set free shall be free indeed. In the name of Jesus, whosoever is sick, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Whosoever is having pain in the body, in the neck, anywhere. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Whosoever is passing through terrible situations, whosoever is not happy, in the name of Jesus, receive your joy. 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 In the name of Jesus, every tears in your life, every bitter tears, the Lord wipe them away. The Lord wipe them away. Weeping has endured for a night. In the name of Jesus, your joy is manifesting tonight. Your joy is coming tonight. Your joy is manifesting now. Your joy is manifesting now. In the name of Jesus, I soak your life. I soak everything about you. In the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' most gracious and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus. I want to congratulate you for what the Lord has done in your life tonight. The Lord has opened you to another blessings in this world. And I pray that what you have received tonight will work for you and your family in the name of Jesus. If the message is a blessing to you, please share the good news. Let the whole world know that there are conditions attached to them or there are conditions attached to anyone that wants to enjoy the benefit of the word of God. The word of God is there, but you have to fulfill the conditions, which is you must not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, you must not stand in the way of sinners, and you must not sit in the seat with the scornful. And as you share the good news, may God Almighty 
give you double promotion in life, victory over your enemies, and make you to be a blessing to many generations in the name of Jesus. We have other videos on YouTube, on the Reality Christian Center channel, also on our website, www.thepathofrighteousness.com. Please share the good news with your friends. And remember, we meet every day from 6 p.m. Irish time till half 6. And as you join us daily, may you experience the move of the power of God. Your coming on this platform will never be in vain in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven great hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 It is well with you, well with your soul, well with your family. Everything about you, it is well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Till we meet tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. The time to pray for our children. Please don't miss it. Invite your friends and you see what the Lord will do. In Jesus' name. Bye.